Lesson 9, Creating a Custom Symbol. In this lesson, we will create a new custom symbol and insert the symbol into the drawing. AutoCAD Electrical comes with 17 symbol libraries from JIC, NFPA, and IEEE, which are typical North American standards, to IEC, JIS, and GB, which are European and Asian standards. Also included are ISO-based hydraulic, pneumatic, and PNID libraries. Even with all of these available, it is inevitable that you will need to create your own custom symbols. The AutoCAD Electrical Symbol Builder tool is the answer. From the Project Manager, activate the NFPA Demo Project and open the drawing Demo 04. I will explode PB425A so that we can look at a typical push button symbol to see what attributes are inserted and where. And don't worry, I will undo the explosion when we are done looking. Many of the attributes, such as Tag 1, Description 1, Catalog, and Manufacturer, are recognizable from inserting components and editing the attribute values in the Insert Edit Component dialog box. Others, like Family, XLink, and X Number Term, are normally hidden attributes that provide special functionality for AutoCAD Electrical. The term attributes represent the pin numbers on the components. You will find that AutoCAD Electrical uses the terminal number and pin number interchangeably. Each of these is associated with a wire connection point on the symbol, the X number term number attribute. The insertion point of the X number term attribute is the point at which the wire is broken or trimmed as the symbol is inserted into the drawing. Now to undo. As a guideline, do not explode blocks unless you are making a new block. Let's create a new custom symbol. First I'll add a ladder rung at position 427 in our drawing. Notice how the add rung command inserts the wire connects it to both buses, and adds the connecting dots with a single click. Now to draw some graphics for the symbol. In general, AutoCAD Electrical does not care about the graphics of a symbol. The graphics are needed for us poor humans to interpret the drawing. AutoCAD Electrical is concerned about the data on the attributes. The best and fastest way to create a new symbol is to start with an existing symbol, modify it as needed, and save it as a new block. The second best way is to use the Symbol Builder tool located on the schematic and panel tabs. This is more than just a tool. I like to call it a wizard as it greatly simplifies the creation of a custom symbol almost magically. First we'll select all of the objects to be included on the symbol. Then we select the insertion point of the symbol. In general, pick the insertion point somewhere near the center of the symbol. Try not to select a point exactly where you expect wires to connect to the symbol. This is due to how the AutoCAD electrical wire trimming process works. Next we choose a template to use for the placement of attributes on the symbol, depending on the type of symbol you are creating. We will use the generic option for this symbol. AutoCAD electrical uses a modified version of the AutoCAD block editing environment. The main tool you will notice is the Attribute Editor pane. This lists attributes to be placed on the symbol. You can select a single attribute for insertion or select the entire group to insert at one time. Once inserted, you can use standard AutoCAD commands to reposition the attributes and edit graphics as needed. You can enter default values for the attributes. The value entered in tag 1 is used in the automatic tag operation, as you will see later. Next you will add the wire connection points. Select the left None option and choose the insertion point or wire connection point on the symbol. Be sure to use some kind of object snap to position the attributes exactly. Two attributes are inserted at the same time. The wire connection attribute X4 Term 01 and Term 01. In the Attribute Editor, from the Wire Connection flyout, select Write None and choose the next insertion point for the second wire attribute. This can be repeated as many times as needed. The second character of the X term attribute is very important as it determines which directions the wires will connect and be trimmed. One, 
from the right, two from the top, four from the left, and eight from the bottom. The symbol is now pretty much completed. Selecting the Close Block Editor command displays the second specialized AutoCAD electrical tool, the Save Symbol dialog box. This tool automatically names the symbol using the AutoCAD electrical symbol naming convention and even performs an audit of the symbol. Here we notice that some layers are not correct. AutoCAD Electrical expects all entities to be on the zero layer when creating a symbol. When inserted, the software will move various parts of the symbol to different layers as determined by the drawing properties. No job is done until you test it, so let's insert the symbol in the drawing. The custom symbol trims the wire and displays the Insert Edit Component dialog box just like any other symbol used in AutoCAD Electrical. This completes Lesson 9, Creating a Custom Symbol.